Dear friends, greetings to you in Jesus Almighty name. I welcome you to this episode of Spiritual Snippets. In this snippet, I wish to deal with an important topic. All things work together for good. Just to base my message upon a particular portion of the scripture, let me read to you from Romans 8, chapter 28 verse. St. Paul wrote, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. There are many pastors and preachers who preach from this particular verse. They take one portion of the scripture, this particular verse, all things work together for good. So they tell the people, you just believe in God, all things will be working together for your good. It is not the right way to present a message from a particular verse. So what we have to understand, we have to take care of the whole verse. In this particular verse, and Paul wrote, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. We must understand that God has a purpose for everyone. When we come to know the Lord Jesus Christ and receive his call and follow him, then all things will work together for good to those who love him. Here the word of God speaks about good things. It is godly good things, not earthly good things alone. Many people speak about earthly good things. But here the word of God speaks about godly good things. What God had purpose for us will be given. When we know God's will and follow the word of God with all our heart, when we seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all that are needed, God is able to give. So our focus must be on getting good things from God, what he feels is good. There are two conditions involved in the fulfillment of this particular promise. The first point is, you should have been called by God according to his purpose. Many people try to do God's work as they desire. It is not what God wants. When you know God's call, when you know God's will and walk in the right path that God has designated for you, then you will be able to get the fulfillment of this particular promise. You should have been called by God according to his purpose and then you must be clear in your attitude towards God's work and you must be able to love the Lord. The word of God says, if a person loves him, he will obey his word. So, if you are called by God to do God's work, you must know that you are to love him with all your heart. You are to love the Lord God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. When you love God in this perspective, you will obey him. So, all things will work together for good to them who love God, who are called according to his promise. The question that I want to place before you is this. Do you fully understand this concept? If you have to do God's work, when God calls you for something to do for him, you must understand his will, walk in the path designated by him. Then what happens is he will perform all things together for your own good. When you are called by the Lord to do some work, when you are sincere in doing what God wants you to do, loving him and also obeying his word, then problems may come. When problems come because of your disobedience or because of some wrong thing that you have done, then it is your responsibility to correct yourselves. On the other side, when problems come, when you are walking in the path of God, God will make such problems to be a blessing for you. Everything will work together for your own good. It may be for correction. It may be for sanctification. It may be for guidance. God can guide you in his own perfect will. So what we have to understand, all things work together for good to them who are called by God for his purpose, who love him. It is imperative that we love the Lord with all our hearts. When you pray in the presence of God, are you able to tell the Lord Jesus that you love him? So in my prayer life, when I pray before the Lord, I always tell him, Lord, I love you. Father, I love you. Holy Spirit, I love you. Jesus, I love you. When you love the Lord with all your heart, problems may come, then all those things will work together for good. Many years ago, I read the story of a group of men who were uh, just in a big building. It's a 14-story building. They were around the 10th floor and suddenly they heard a cry, fire, fire. So the fire was coming up from below. They tried to go down the, down the stairs, but the staircase was burning. It was made of wood. It was burning. So they tried to climb up. So this group of men, they went to the top floor into the terrace of that building, they did not know what to do. But there was one man among them who was full of fear. He had pyrophobia. He was full of fear of fire. So he said, instead of dying because of fire, let me jump out of the balcony and I fall down and die. 
his friend tried to hinder him from jumping off the balcony and this man was really struggling to jump out of the balcony and fall down and die. You know what this friend did? He took hold of him by his shirt and gave a very powerful punch on his nose. So this man fell down fainting. And after some time a helicopter came and all these men were rescued. Later, the man who got punched on his own nose, with a swollen nose and bleeding nose, he came and uh, hugged his friend and said, thank you for punching me. Friends, when we do God's will, in God's place, in God's agenda, when we love the Lord God with all our heart, when we are in his perfect will, all that happens in our lives will have some blessing. So I want to encourage you, my dear friends, here the word of God says, all things work together for good to them who love God, and those who are called according to his own purpose. You will be blessed in all your activities, provided you follow this dictum. May the Lord bless you. Amen.